another unboxing and build video. And this time we've got the Soviet light tank, the T26 model 1932. This is made by the Zvezda company, which is a new company to me. I think they're a massive company, but I've never heard of them before. And this is certainly the first Zvezda kit that I've ever attempted. So here's the front, all looking very nice. This is the twin turret model. Most of these T26s were built with a single turret and a single cannon. This is like an early version that's got a twin turret. So there's the front, let's look at the side. All very useful. They've got the paints here, which is nice. So you don't actually have to open the box and read the instructions before you see what paint you need. And it also tells you what the decals are, which is quite interesting. Yeah, quite decal light, really. <laughs> Just got a couple of number twos. Uh, basic information on the side. What is it actually made? Right, it's Lobnia, Moscow region in Russia. Good, good. Side. Uh, yeah, nothing terribly remarkable here. We've got some more tanks from the Zvezda company. We've got the Soviet light tank BC-5 on the left. Then a Soviet heavy tank, T-35 in the middle. And a medium tank, the T-28 on the right. Looking very interesting, I must say. Uh, yeah, and just another, another picture on the other side. See, it's bound up with official Zvezda tape. So let's get my trusty Spyderco and slice through this. See what's in here. You might find out a note from a political prisoner, perhaps. Trapped in a toy tank factory. Okay, that's uh, unexpected. Put that down there. How's this opening up? Oh, we've got another box. Can we get, all oh, right, there we go. There we are. Get that centered up. Good, looking very nice. Yeah, the T26 was apparently the most numerous tank of the 1930s. The Russians built about 10,000 of these things. Let's get the knife out again. It's actually based on a, a British tank. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. I'll put the name on the screen, the British tank. But uh, a Vickers Armstrong tank that was actually designed for the export market to send out to countries that perhaps weren't so as technologically advanced. So they made this tank, again, which I'll put the name on the screen, that was very low maintenance uh, and sold it to various countries. Uh, the Russians and the Poles amongst them. Let's pull these out. All right, what's going on here? Uh, yeah, nice detail. This looks very clean. Good. Right, significantly larger than the last tank I built, which was the Mark 6B. Uh, British light tank. Put that to one side. Yep, all good. Lots of detail here. That looks very clean, very nice indeed, actually. Let's go through the rest. Here's one of the turrets. And here's the other one. Yeah, two machine gun turrets on this tank rather than a, a cannon. And the tracks, right. Better looking than the tracks on the last kit I, I made. The tracks on the last kit for the Mark 6B were very, very untidy, but these look good. But I'm not really looking forward to actually um, <laughs> sticking all these together. I didn't do a terribly good job on the last tank. I will try and do a better job this time. And here there's, um, well, this is, there must be the tracks for the other side, I suppose. Right, that looks bad, doesn't it? Yeah, that looks like a, a manner. Well, that is a manufacturing fault. Not very good at all. Still, that's the only example of grossiness I've seen on this kit. Can you see that? Yeah, that's the only sort of malformed part that I've seen, and I'm sure we can get around that. Let's look in here. Oh God, here we go. 
Here's the decals. <laughs> so pretty puny. Uh, yeah, a couple of twos. And is 342 one of the decals or is that just a reference number? I have no idea. Yeah, very decal light this tank, it seems. Uh, what's that? Uh, do, 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 do. I can't see the English. All right, okay, read this before you begin. To avoid the risk of suffocation from small parts, getting in the mouths and respiratory tract, keep the set away from children under three years of age. That's fair enough. Model parts in the set may contain sharp edges. Use appropriate caution when handling cutters and other tools. Caution! The paint recommended for the model must be used by adults only. Please retain the manufacturer's address for any further communication. And we, are, we always like to keep the box, so that's not really a problem. Here is the instructions. Uh, do, 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 do. Save it like tank. Right, instructions here. Study the instructions carefully. Remove parts from the frame with a sharp knife. Trim away excess plastic. Do not pull off parts. Assemble the parts in numerical sequence. Use plastic cement only. Da, 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 da. Remove paint. Remove paint where parts are to be cemented. Okay. I don't normally do that. I, no, I normally paint paint parts in their um, fullness and then stick them together. Obviously, it's not liking that for this kit. Quite simplistic um, instructions, really. Very different to the last kit, which is very, very detailed. But we've got the um, little paint plan here, and that's where we put our number two decal. And here's the instructions. So yeah, is there anything in the interior of the tank we can put together? It all seems to be exterior stuff, so there's no option for actually opening it up to see what's inside. Anyway, it doesn't look like that anyway. I mean, quite nice, clear instructions. I can't complain. I cannot complain. But that was it, yeah. Um, do, 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 do. Right, some information on the tank here. The lightly armoured T-26 tank was designed for the Soviet armed forces during the 30s in many different versions. These variants are equipped with a 37 millimeter gun and a 62 millimeter machine gun, or two machine guns in two turrets. More than 11,000 T-26s were produced. So there we go. Yeah, nice little kit. Looking forward to putting this together. And then when it's done, I'll show you with it with the Mark VI. See how they compare. So anyway, what I'll do now is I'll go away and build it. So I shall see you in a, a few weeks time. Okay then, cheerio. Hello, and it's a couple of weeks later. And here it is, my little T26. Looking very nice, I think. Very nice indeed. I'll just turn it around so you get a good view of everything. Yeah, it looks quite sort of brutal and simplistic, doesn't it? But that was the point. It was designed by Vickers to sell to countries that didn't have the capability to service more sophisticated tanks. But uh, no, it's looking nice. There's enough detail here to make it look interesting. So you've got a little shovel and the axe, various other stuff. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, I'm not sure what that is either. That thing there. It looks like it ought to be a loudspeaker or something, but it could be an ice dispenser for all I know. There's no perspex in this kit. So this lamp is just um, a disc of plastic painted, painted silver. Whereas normally you, you might get a perspex cover on that just to brighten it up a little bit. There's also two options as far as the armaments. You get two sets of cannon and two sets of machine guns. And these should articulate. I mean, if I move that around, you can move the machine gun because it operates in like a ball and socket joint. This also should articulate, but I managed to gum it into place, unfortunately. Yeah, so you get two cannons, two machine guns. You can have a dual cannon or dual machine gun model. But I went for half and half. But there aren't any other options as far as, you know, sort of um, hatches open or closed. You just have them shut. This is quite a nice detail here. 
this undulates very slightly so it looks like it's authentically resting on these guide wheels the top track there it's very nice and there's some incredible detail as far as the uh, the welding fillets go like someone's obviously gone to a lot of trouble to actually make it look as authentic as possible i had a bit of trouble with the tracks i couldn't get these guide wheels these um sorry drive wheels here i couldn't get them flush with the rest of the wheels for whatever reason it was probably my fault but i really did do my best to um to straighten them up and i didn't really manage it and the result is that some of these look a little bit wonky to be honest with you so yeah i had some problems with the tracks but overall i think i've done a fairly good job there got nothing to complain about this on the back looks a bit peculiar this exhaust setup here that looks like it ought to be flush against the side but there's a connection there and the connection is in properly um uh, if i if i was to make that flush this connector wouldn't fit properly so perhaps that's just how they were built i don't know i don't know but yeah i'm pleased with this i'm pleased with it i think the main problem with it is the uniform color really does sort of suck the life out of a lot of the detail so it looks quite bleak as i said before but uh, there were a few other problems i'll um, i'll go through them now so here's the instructions now when i cracked open the kit initially see if i can find it there we go i discovered that yeah one of these axles here one of the axles for these i don't know what you call those but one of those had actually snapped off and it hadn't actually snapped off in the box because it wasn't in the box so it had obviously broken off before the thing was packaged up so what i had to do was go to an old kit and look for some of the um, extra bits and pieces because any time you make a kit there'll be some leftover stuff and i managed to find a missile that i can actually cut down to the right size and, and glued in place but if i hadn't got the missile i could have used some of the um some of the frame from the support um yeah i could have let me get it up yeah i could have probably have trimmed down some of this to actually make a peg big enough to do the job um color scheme was a bit peculiar why well, i say that the um <laughs> the color scheme specifically says that these these dry wheels at the front should be painted silver but here obviously it's all green and on the on the cover art it's green but within the instructions it says silver so I, that's what i painted them i'm not sure why you got that discrepancy here um, you have to assemble some of these small track pieces yourself the idea is that you use a ruler to um to align these track pieces and from this it looks like they ought to snap together but i can tell you now they don't snap together what i had to do was do this but glue them together these individual pieces and then what you meant to do is when they're snapped to pieces sorry when they're snapped together you have to sort of like bend them around the drive wheel here again that didn't work without gluing them beforehand but if you actually glue them and then quickly do that then yeah it's fine it will stick together and it's quite flexible before the glue dries um, another slightly annoying thing was the shovel there we go the shovel is actually too big to fit in this space and i'll show you on the model where is it let's get the shovel around yeah so what i had to do here i had to actually trim off about two millimeters of shovel handle to actually make it fit in that space otherwise none of this will actually lie flat properly so that was a little bit strange but uh, oh yeah one last thing yeah some of these parts where are they yeah some of the individual track pieces here were quite badly formed either there was bits missing off them or there was too much plastic that you had to sort of you know sort of scrape off but you get about eight extra pieces so it didn't matter and i easily had enough sort of well-formed pieces to do everything i needed to but yeah overall very pleased with this and i'll just compare it with my last model here we go my little british tank so this is from my previous video here's the t26 
looking very good. I mean, this is my favorite. It's obviously a lot more going on here, much busier, more options as far as building. And I prefer the color scheme. But no, very happy with that. Very happy indeed. So I'd recommend that kit. And we have our next tank set up. And this is the French R35. Yeah, it's quite an attractive looking little tank, isn't it? It's quite nice. <laughs> it's a new kit. I've never made a Hobby Boss kit before. So that's another, another area of interest for us. But anyway, we'll do that in the next episode. So I hope you enjoyed that. And here she is again, the 1932 model T26 Soviet tank. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and hope to catch you the next time. Okay, cheerio.